Something to think about, people, is um, how you work with your mind, you know. We talk about mindfulness meditation, and I think maybe we have many misconceptions about it. One thought is we think we're supposed to make all the thoughts go away. Another feeling is we're supposed to have a nice feeling. Another feeling is supposed to relax. None of this. It's like a training, you know, because we know our mind is so chaotic. It's a really brilliant practice. I mean, Buddha started with something. You anchor your mind to something, and the thing he started with, a very simple thing, is the breath. It's just a thing that happens naturally, in and out. So you anchor your mind to that. You decide, I'm going to pay attention to the breath. So your thoughts are going to be crazy. In fact, you think you're getting worse, but you're not. So the, the, the key thing is you're practicing, you're training to stay on the breath. You let the thoughts be. That's the courage we have to develop because normally we're swimming in our thoughts. It's a really brilliant practice. It doesn't, you know, it's not to make them go away. That's like a joke. But it's not to buy into them, not to feed into them. You, it's like a bunch of sh people shouting outside on the street. You pay attention. You learn to not pay attention to them. You pay attention to the breath. You anchor your mind to the breath. So the job there is to, you know, is to is to train your mind to not be involved in the thoughts. Now, when you bring this skill to bear in your daily life, this is the real benefit from doing this te technique in your daily life. Now, what you're going to do is pay attention to the thoughts. They're going to, you, and you, because you've been training on your cushion, you're going to notice them more. And now you pay attention to the thoughts before they vomit out your mouth. That's the skill. Whereas once you wouldn't have known you were angry until you're screaming at your husband in the kitchen. But now, because you're practicing on your cushion, not being involved in the thoughts, training yourself to be disciplined, now you're going to notice the, work, the thoughts before they vomit out the mouth. That's the skill. And then you can be your own therapist. Then you can use wisdom and clarity and common sense to argue with these crazy thoughts before they become emotional. That's the skill, people. One of the skills, being our own therapist.